talk about outside. I see you upside. Well, man. So, what you wanna do? Oh, oh. It's yours, mine's ours. We can do this for hours. Sit and talk after hours. I wanna give you your flowers. A little clear my power. We sit and talk in after hours. It's a clear mind we desire. Now go ahead and wash your faces. So guys, um, I wanted to bring something to you guys a little different, a bit more intimate, um, a lot more loving, a lot more caring, um, and I want it to be about real stuff that us as people experience and what we go through each day, and I just really want to tackle that realm of the realisticness of life. And I really, really, really want to talk about a few topics, guys. And even if you find this interesting or soothing or calming, I want you to comment down below any other topics that you would love to talk about and discuss. Um, to be honest with you guys, um... Now that I'm older or getting older, I do experience a lot of changes and differences in myself. And I know that other people are going through the same thing somewhere else. And sometimes all it takes is to have a person talk about it to be able to realize that you're not alone. You're not the only person. You're not the only one experiencing what you're experiencing. So that's kind of like what bathing with Ching is going to be talking about. So we're going to have a little tough talk tonight um, about a few different topics, y'all. And it's pretty much me just talking to you guys and telling you my opinion and my mindset and how I feel about certain things. And maybe it can help someone out there. Um, so, throughout this bath, guys, I'm just going to talk to you all about these things. Today, I want to acknowledge anxiety. I want to say that since I was young, I don't feel like I dealt with anxiety at all. But now that I'm getting older, um, not to diagnose myself, but just to admit the truth so that I can take the next step or we can take the next step um, in healing from experiencing this. Like, I feel like as people, we often like shove things under the rug and we never acknowledge the things about ourselves that actually exist. And I feel like if you're like, I feel like the world gives us pressure so much so that it's almost like you can't be human because it's like we're almost in competition with a robot or we're almost in competition with something that's not real every single day. So it's like, I feel like as humans, we, or as people, as women, as men, we tend to shove stuff under the rug and act like it don't affect us because we feel like that's what we have to do. So, my goal, guys, is to get you guys talking back to me 
communicating and I'm gonna be very, very hands-on with this segment. So much to the point where I'm gonna be reading all of these things and standing connect with you guys um, in the process of these tough talks. So anxiety, guys, let's talk about anxiety. Let's talk about how it actually affects us people. Let's talk about why we may experience anxiety. A lot of people experience anxiety when they are like nervous about something. Um, just say it's an interview today. You may have anxiety um, because you're nervous of whether you're gonna get the job. Let's say, you know what, I'll take that back y'all. And please correct me down below if I'm wrong or if you don't agree, guys. Because that's what this is all about. Us learning and growing together as people. I would say that feeling is just being nervous. Anxiety. Once you come to anxiety, it's almost a problem when you deal with anxiety. For instance, I am a public figure. Um, I deal with a lot of different people. I work with a lot of different people on the regular basis. And I experience anxiety now when it comes to me meeting new people. If I'm in a room full of different people that I don't know, I kind of experience anxiety in which some people may call social anxiety. But I'm aware that I experience these things because... I have been through so much with people that it's like, I almost don't even want to meet new people, <laughs> but I don't have a choice because this is what I do. This is what I have to do. And to feel like that is almost like, <sighs> it's like you're just damaged and you're hurting all the time, every day. Like... You have to see new people and meet new people every day, everywhere you go. You know what I mean? Like, that's a thing. And it's not good. So, what I've been doing, um, I've been doing more meditating and more loving on myself. I've been doing more things alone. I've been taking myself out to eat. I've been taking myself out to um, have fun and do stuff on my own, y'all. I feel like it's helping. Why do I feel like it's helping? Because it's starting to, it's like the better you get with yourself, the more you heal, the better it's going to be for someone's experience with you as a person. If you're not okay with yourself and you're stressed out or experiencing all these traumas it's kind of harder to be a good person for other people it's very hard to give yourself to people when you're a broken or you're not okay on your own so for my social anxiety which i feel like I've been experiencing and I also have experienced it in other realms as well um, that's kind of what I do I've just been taking myself out or um, spending more time alone really understanding who I am why I'm this way why am I experiencing these feelings and just like acknowledging it instead of shoving it under a rug Acknowledging the things that I went through. Acknowledging the things that may have hurt me. Acknowledging what I've experienced with people to make me feel the way that I feel. And from there, it's just addressing it and tackling the issue. You guys, comment down below how you deal with your anxiety. If you experience anxiety. Comment down below how you can help it, help soothe it. 
You know what I mean? That's just some of the things I've been doing. Some of you guys may experience otherwise. Guys, later on in these episodes, we are going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into situations that actually occur. And most likely the situations that people don't talk about. The, the situations that people run from. The goal, guys, is to have a clear mind at night. To be able to meditate, love on ourselves, and be the best person that we can be for other people. Number one, for ourselves, for God, and then for other people. Because if you're not a good person to yourself, a good person for yourself, it's no way. Have you ever heard the, the statement that you can't love somebody if you don't love yourself? You can't genuinely love someone else if you don't love yourself. Have you guys heard that? Any of you have? Comment down below what you think. Is that a true statement, guys? Comment down below. If you are a person who overcame anxiety in any shape, form, or fashion, comment down below how you did that. What were your techniques? My biggest thing, guys, I was sitting down thinking the other day, and I'm just like, maybe it's just the people that I know. So come up with something where I can reach people who may have had a great experience. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, have I ever met someone or do I know anyone who actually healed? Do I know someone who's actually healed themselves? And are doing great from anxiety. I thought that to myself, y'all. And I was like, I personally don't know anyone who's actually healed with those type of traumas. That's like kind of sad and deep at the same time, guys. Guys, I don't want... These episodes can be long, short, midway. But I just want it to be therapeutic and healing for us, guys. I feel like there's a lot of people that focus on um, the regular stuff, but they don't really focus on healing the soul, the mind, clearing the mind. You know what I mean? It's so easy to get caught in this day and time because of like technology and stuff like that. It's very easy to get caught up in the worldly things. So guys, um, I was actually thinking about streaming these live. Tell me how you guys feel about that. If I was to stream these episodes live, would you enjoy that? I would get to see you guys' comments. I would get to talk to you guys in the process. And then it'll be even better because we're talking like right then and there. You know what I mean? So guys, I would love for you to take a moment with me and go over some affirmations. Some very positive, beautiful affirmations that can keep our minds clear, keep us going in the right direction, uh, keep us very positive, very happy. 
Because, guys, I am a firm believer in speaking things into existence. Why? Because I am a master number 22. And everything I've ever wanted, guys, I've gotten. The only thing that's ever held me back was myself. And it was my mindset, the negativity, and things like that. So, I want to start off by saying um, I am positive. I am amazing. I am talented. And guys, it's best to demand what you are. I am happy. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am loving. I am caring. I see the greater in people. I am free of negativity. I do not attract negativity. I attract positivity. I attract positive people. I attract positive influences. I love me. I love my personality. I love the way I look. I love God. The universe is working in my favor. I have a clear mind. I am joyful. I am excited. I can have anything that I want in life. Y'all, these are some of the basic things that we never say that we should say. I am free from insecurity. I am free from insecurities. I am secure. Y'all, I know so many people each day, they say the complete opposite of everything that we just said. I hear people all the time, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Like y'all can't. Is not in our vocabulary. <laughs> we literally can do anything that we put our minds to. Understand me? <laughs> do you understand me? And y'all, we deserve a prize for that. Okay. Anxiety, y'all. We are free of anxiety. Y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell on the side. That way you never ever miss an upload. That way you never ever miss an upload. I'm going to try to also comment down below if y'all think it would be a dope idea to have guests feature in, call in, and talk about these things. There's so many other topics, y'all. We briefly touched on anxiety. 
Comment down below what you think, how you feel, and yes. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys bathing with me next time. Bye-bye. you guys enjoy yes. I will talk to you guys at the next tough talk bye bye